Hey guys, it's Veronica and I'm a floating head because I'm in bed right now. I'm just real cozy. I've got my twinkly lights on and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys and make a video. I don't really know if anybody even cares about life updates from me, but I thought that I'd be able to like keep up the momentum from June because I posted five videos which is not a lot for some people but for me that was like an accomplishment and I thought oh July is going to be kick-ass as well I'm going to get four at least four videos going but at this rate probably not because it's already June the 10th no July the 10th and I haven't started filming or working on anything um, just for a few reasons. So first of all, July is turning out to be pretty busy. I've been spending a lot of time with my uh, boyfriend. Uh, my friends, uh, well one of my friends had a birthday last weekend and another one's having a birthday party in two weekends. And um, during the week I've been going to the dentist like a lot uh, because I haven't been to the dentist in years. So it was really high time and they were going to town on my teeth for about two weeks. And uh, I'm not trying to film with like a numb half of my mouth. So yeah, I just haven't been doing anything YouTube related for the past week and a half. And on top of all of those other reasons, which I think are like valid reasons, um, I'm like really upset. <laughs> I'm so upset. Um, if you haven't been watching my channel for a while, um, or if this is your first video, first of all, hi, I'm Veronica. This is a great way to meet me. I am beautiful right now. Um, usually I make videos about bullet journaling. Um, I talk about uh, my life in South Korea. Uh, that's not that spectacular, but sometimes I do vlog certain things and I like to vlog when I travel and whatnot. And I also occasionally will talk about K-pop and if any of that stuff interests you, I recommend you subscribe. But, um, among those interests in K-pop, the thing that has kept me going, staying interested in K-pop for as long as I have been, is my favorite group of all time, B1A4. Um, I've done an unboxing of their fan club, uh, merchandise and, uh, reactions to... Uh, two music videos from their members and um, Yeah, if you watch me for any amount of time, you know that I'm a big B1A4 fan and I have been for years and I um, Used to say that I always would be until what June 30th. I think it was they announced that two members Jin Young the leader and composer and producer of all of their songs and Baro the lead rapper were not going to re-sign their contracts with the entertainment agency that they're under, which means even though they didn't announce it in this way, the like B1A4 is over. Oh, there's a fly. Um, basically, it feels like uh, from the outsider's perspective, not knowing the inner workings of the company and their dealings and their contracts and whatever, it feels like, yeah, B1A4 is kind of over. Like, I feel like it would probably be very tricky for them to make any music together when two of their members are not under the contract. So like, I don't know who has the rights to the name B1A4 and um, how would they like divide the earnings and stuff like that. I don't know, it just seems like it would be complicated and um, usually for other groups it just like doesn't go well when this kind of thing happens for like the future of the group. So yeah, I'm feeling very pessimistic about it. And at first I was trying to be like positive and like grateful, which I, I am, it's not like everything's been erased. Yeah, you know, I had a really good time being a fan of B1A4, as weird as, as weird as that sounds to someone who's not, like, into... If, you, if you're if you not involved in any K-pop fandoms, K-pop <laughs> fandoms, that might sound like a really strange thing to say. 
But yeah, I did have a really good time being their fan. Like, I enjoyed all of their music. I enjoyed all of their personalities, getting to know them. Um, I just, I felt very, like, connected to them as a group and who they were as people. And I know it's, you can never believe 100% what you see from idols because it is a crafted, like, persona that they have to portray to the world. But I don't know. I trusted B24. I thought they were really genuine, very cute. And uh, their music always uh, put me in a good mood, made me really happy. Um, and in being their fan, I got to meet um, a lot of people. I, I, I made friends that I made online and that I ended up meeting in real life as well. I got to see them perform live one, two, three, four times. That's a lot for some people. Like, not everyone has the opportunity or the the means to go see someone in concert like that so I'm pretty lucky in that way and I even did high touch so like I got to meet them and hold their hands and stuff which was really cool I got to give them a gift in person um I got to be in their fan club officially and yeah I don't know it was a good time but while all of that is all like nice and dandy I also feel kind of like hurt and um it's probably really dramatic to say betrayed but I do a little bit of like a Korean fan pointed out I think it was on Twitter like their last album and performances that they came out with were all Japanese releases and they performed in Japan and like were promoting Japan and it's like I think it would have been nicer if they had come back to Korea put out they knew I mean there's no way they didn't know that this was going to happen like they know when their contract's up they could have planned it better to like have a goodbye show or have a goodbye single like you know how 21 did the it was literally called goodbye <laughs> like they could have done something like that if they knew it was going to end this way and I know that they like extended their contract by two months in order to keep like negotiating or whatever I don't know maybe I'm expecting too much but I kind of agree with what the Korean fan was saying about how it would have been a little bit nicer to your Korean fans who have been with you from the very beginning I'm not a Korean fan but I can empathize anyways what am I saying and it's also, it's been taking them a really long time to get any, like, official statements out. Like, the statement from the agency took a few days. And um, Jin Young came out with this, his own statement on Instagram a few days after that. Sande posted something in the fan cafe. Baro hasn't said anything yet. Shinya hasn't said anything. Gong Chan hasn't said anything. And now Sandal has started DJing on a radio show. Like, everything's fine. I just feel like all the fans are, like, upset right now, and nobody's saying anything. I just feel like it's, like, a little bit rude. <laughs> Not rude, just, like, I don't know. It just seems a little bit messed up. And even the statements that have been coming out have been so vague. Like, nothing's concrete about what would happen in the future. And... Like, we don't know what agency Jin Young and Baro are going to. If they're going together, if they're going to different places, and are they going to try to make music on their own, or are they only going to focus on acting from now on? They're not musicians anymore. I don't... I don't know. What what are Kung Tan and Shin Yu and Sander going to do under WM? Like, no offense to, to two of the members, but... Sando is probably the only person that could go solo. He's already done it once before. And I think the other two... I, I mean, all of them really belong as a group, in my, in my opinion. So I just, like, don't really... I can't really imagine them doing solo music. Or, or like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just rambling now. It doesn't make any sense. Mm, this time is gonna run out.
Oh. I thought I was going to run out of time. My phone usually stops after 10 minutes of recording. So that was awkward. Um, yeah, I'm not going to edit this, I think. I'll just put it up and show you my natural self. Mm. But yeah, that's how I feel. I had a dream last night that I met BB4 and I was like mad at them. And I think I am just like mad. <laughs> am I going through the stages of grief? Is that what it is? I don't know, I just want them to say something officially, concretely about the future. And I was sitting in McDonald's today and one of their songs came on the radio and it just like made me upset. I was like, I don't even want to listen to BO4 right now. Like when it when I first got the news, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. Maybe I should have like a marathon of all their music videos. And I was like too sad to do it, so I just didn't do it and I put it off and now it's like ten days later and I feel like I don't feel like listening to BO4 right now. Cause it's just gonna make me upset oh oh my god I feel like crying like right now I can feel it in my throat I feel like crying that sucks well I guess I'm gonna stop here don't know if I'll upload this maybe I'm pretty messy so probably I will I am a messy bitch as you all know as you may know <laughs> so yeah, if you listen to my rambling this far um three gold stars for you like why would you listen to this you're awesome um and if you are a fan of b 4 leave a comment let's support each other if you're not a fan of b 4 i don't understand but that's fine <laughs> and if you uh went through something similar with one of your favorite um uh, idol groups share Share how you got through it in the comments, please. And uh, that's it. So yeah, if you liked this video and you want to see more of this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And you can follow me on my social media, which I will link down below. <laughs> Did I do a good job of that? I, I, I felt like I sold it. Alright, I'm out of here. It's not quite bedtime, but it is Netflix time, so... Peace, and see you in the next video.